Where am I? Wait. Those eyes. I'd know them anywhere. Son. Is it really you? Saved me, wasn't it? Erwin, you're back. You're back to your old self at last. no longer holds you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. I am, my love. I am. Hardships await you. Many trials lie ahead. But you must not stray from your path. You must not falter. Let the light of hope, the light inside you, be your guide. And remember, we will always watch over you. Farewell, my darling. I love you so much. Goodbye, my little one. Goodbye, Erwin. I hope both of you find peace at last. Stay back! I'm warning you! I've got a fish knife and I'm not afraid to use it! <laughs> Looks like we're just in time. Marvelous! Mare meat for the grinder! If you think you'll escape this place alive, you're making a big mistake! All humans will fall before me, the mighty Mer King, undisputed Mercer of the Seven Seas. I think it's time we showed this guy who's really in charge around here. <clears throat> Prepare to meet your Merka. <laughs> Can't half dance up a storm, eh? 
are these stamps of yours, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! There's someone else! Oh, just look at me go! Hustle, hustle! Way! <laughs> oh my goody! Someone! Make him stop! Shut it, you! I hear none of your whinging! We're dancing for the dark one here, so look lively, or there'll be trouble. And a one, and a two, and a hoppa, hoppa, hustle! Pray, hoppa! Well now, what have we here? Hoping I wouldn't notice you slacking off back there, were you? Well, no such luck, you boogie! Are you feel the back of my hand? Come here, you! <sighs> Before we go in, I... I want you to promise me something. On the other side of this door is someone very important to me. More precious than any treasure. I want you to swear you'll do everything you can to save her. <sighs> I'd been drifting around the world for who knows how long, when I bumped into this guy calling himself the Seer. He had a prophecy for me. He told me to go after the orb, that if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground, and that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. Meet my little sister. So I've been thinking, now you've got the Sword of Light, your powers are maxed out, right? Maybe you can use them to break the curse. Please. It might not work, but it's gotta be worth a try. She might have been turned to gold, but my sister's still in there. I know it! I'm sorry, Mia. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I forgive you. Did you hear that? Forgiveness! The last part of the prophecy's finally come true! You've helped me, so I'm sure gonna help you. I'm with you to the end, partner. Sheal away in 
not Frozen Fjord. But thanks to the Dark Master, I am released. And I am stronger than ever before. By Eldwin's hand, was I locked away in that icy prison? But now I will have my revenge. Son of the Luminary, prepare to be consumed. Dundrasil, to Angrila. I am Pan, Grand Master of the Temple. We humbly swear to honor the ancient agreement, to accept you as a disciple, and cultivate your physical and spiritual strength as best we can. Uh -huh. What's the matter? Too many long words? Fine. Allow me to explain it all in terms you'll understand. For as long as anyone can remember, the sons of the Drusillian royal family have been sent here to be educated for six years of their youth. As the crown prince of Dundrasil, you too were supposed to have come here as a boy and trained under me. When your homeland was destroyed by monsters, the world thought you dead. But still, we held out hope. For many long years, we have awaited your coming. Oh. It's been a long time, Master Pang. Forgive me for not visiting you sooner. My dear Robert, it has been rather a long time, hasn't it? I must admit, I had thought we would only meet again in the next world. Hmm. Speaking of which, you look like you've seen a ghost boy. Though I must admit, I have a similar feeling. It's as if we've met before somewhere. Strange. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I would so like to have a nice, long chat with my lovely new disciple. But there are more important matters at hand. Even from half a world away, I can feel the evil aura emanating from the Dark Star. It is the body of unfathomable wickedness. You mean to destroy it, don't you? Well... It just so happens that there's a special training regime here at the temple that should prepare you to do just that. We call it the Wheel of Harma. I will summon forth the constant cycle of fiendish foes that will push your powers to the very limit. Many have attempted to conquer the Wheel, but though the trial has existed for a millennium or more, None have succeeded. If you're feeling brave, speak with the High Lama. Hmm. Grandmaster, I have spent years practicing everything you taught me. Focus, discipline, abstinence. Let me show you what I can do. Hmm. Very sprightly. I'd like to see how you've come along, Ran. You certainly seem a lot more focused than when we last met. Oh, I'm focused, all right. Come on, you young whippersnappers. What are we waiting for? 
have a thing or two to show you. I take back everything I said. Come here, Robert. We have a record to break. So we did it, huh? A second sword of light. So, are you gonna give it a try or what? Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why? Hmm? Tell me why! Well, no more. I will be second best no longer. You will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time, it is I who have been chosen, and you who will fade into obscurity. So, uh, what did we just see? Hmm. At the end there, hmm? that looked like the throne room in Heliodor. The place was a ruin. And that man Hendrik was doing battle with. Could it have been Jasper? I cannot say for certain. Yet I have seen that scene before. Somewhere. This shadow. Could it have something to do with the visions we just witnessed? Come, we must go after it. It has been years now, since that fateful day, when the darkness first descended and tragedy befell Dundrasil, your home. Jasper and I stood together at the head of the force that succeeded in driving back the monsters and escorting King Carnelian to safety. Little did we know that the man we strove so hard to protect had already been possessed by the fiend Mordigan. Upon our return, his majesty made me a general for my deeds that day. But I did not rescue him alone. Without Jasper's bravery, all would have been lost. 
I urged the king to recognize my old friend's valor, but he paid me no heed. Jasper was not rewarded for his bravery. He was ignored, ostracized. This must have been Mordigan's plan all along. To wound Jasper, let the darkness fester in his heart, then use that resentment for his own ends. Why could I not see what my master had become? And why was I so blind to the darkness consuming Jasper's soul? It is you. Come, we must see where it leads us next. I sense it has something important to tell us. We sparred here back when we were young. Jasper, show yourself. They say those the monsters take before they finish their business in this life. Come back as bitter black spirits. Looks like that's what we're dealing with here. It's Jasper like as not. Why? Why did this happen to me? I'm sensing a horrible, ugly hatred. Careful, everyone! I don't usually make it my business to fight vengeful spirits, but something tells me we don't have much choice. Let's do this. This is not your fight. I must face him alone. Hendrik, that's not the man you knew. It's nothing more than the darkness he left behind him. A darkness I helped create. A darkness I must destroy. Alone. Let us bring this to an end. Come, Jasper! It is time at last. Again you surpass me. Again you outdo me. Again you you leave me behind. The more you bathed in glory, the more brightly you shone, the more I receded into shadow. Do you know what it was that I always wanted? I wanted to be like you. <sighs> Jasper, you speak of surpassing me, but in truth it was I who always followed in your wake. I was robbed of my home, my family. I was alone. You were the one who spurred me on in their place. The light that guided me.
<laughs> you are the same sentimental fool as ever, I see. You do remember that I betrayed you? How could I forget? I am indeed a fool. But not for that. For not seeing before it was too late. If I had spoken to you, if I had listened, perhaps I could have saved you. You knew. You always knew. We were born two very different souls. It was that difference that brought us together. As your light grew brighter, mine could only blacken in response. And before I knew it, I felt more kinship with the denizens of the dark you battled so righteously than I did with my own kind. The lure of evil grew, and before I knew it I had passed the point of no return. I saw then what Mordigan saw. The beauty in the blackness. Shed no tears for me. I seek no sympathy. All I ask is that you answer one question. Do you still... Do you still consider me your comrade and companion? Always, friend. How long I have waited to hear those words. Do you remember the pact we made as boys? Come, it is time we made good on our promise. The two-headed eagle cannot fly with just one wing. From this day forth, my spirit shall stand alongside yours. We will never be apart again. <laughs> oh. one heck of a suit of armor. But then those two always were quite the combination. <sighs> Forgive my self-indulgence. But know that I have not forgotten my pledge. I shall be... No. We shall be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companions, my oldest friend and I. Together. Though it was long in coming, far too long. We are united at last. So this is the top of the fabled tour. Draw your blade. I challenge you to a duel. On guard.
You have grown mighty indeed. Forgive me for the suddenness of my challenge. Sometimes words will not suffice. Sometimes the sword speaks truest. Your sword speaks of your kindness, your strength. Forgive me that I ever doubted you, that I dared to call you Darkspawn. These are crimes beyond reckoning. I pledge once more to be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion, until such time as my crimes have been atoned for. May the bond between us never be broken. Ah, so this is the top of Cobblestone Tor, eh? Not a bad view at all, laddie. And I'd know. I've seen my fair share of stunning scenery in my travels. Right then. Now the two of us are alone at last. Ah. Ah. I think it's high time I introduced you to the Royal Collection. Oh, I've dreamed of this since the day you were born, so I have. <sighs> Nothing beats a good bunny girl, eh, laddie? Well, that was every bit the bonding experience I'd hoped for. You've made an old man very happy. And this view really is quite spectacular. You were lucky indeed to grow up somewhere so beautiful. I have a lot to thank Chalky for. That's for certain. You used to call him Grandad, didn't you? Um, you... You couldn't do me the same favour, could you? Hmm. Oh, you have no idea how much it means to me to hear you say it. <laughs> I'll never leave you all alone like that again, my boy. I promise you. Finally. That took longer than I thought it would. It's almost dark. Oh, be careful of the edge, won't you? You, um... You couldn't do something for me, could you? Huh? Could you... Hold my hand? We've come all the way up here. We'd be silly not to enjoy the view together, right? Hmm. Your hands used to be a lot smaller, you know. Back when you were a baby, I used to worry that they'd shatter into pieces if I so much as touched them. But you're all grown up now. Maybe it's time I stop treating you like a child. Oh, typical. Why does it always start raining the second we get a chance to be in the
just something to warm ourselves up. Good. We're only going to die of cold standing around like this all night. Right. Brace yourself. I'm positively toasty after that. You've come a long way. I get the feeling there's nothing we can't overcome as long as we're together. Lucky we're going to be together for a while then, eh? <gasps> oh, honey, this vista is to die for! I just love an outcrop with a view. All of nature laid out before us. The sun beating down from a clear blue sky. Ah, uh, this is paradise. Paradise! And best of all, it's just me and you. Hmm, which gives me an idea. May I have this dance? Yay! I knew I could count on you! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's boogie! Yes! Thank you so, so much, honey. You don't know how much you've done for me. Someday, I'm going to build a wonderful theater. A place where I can put on the greatest performances the world has ever seen. And when I do, I know you'll be there, cheering me every step of the way. We make a great team, you and I. The great Silvando and the even greater Luminary. There's not a frown in Erdria we can't turn upside down. So let's get out there and make the world a happier place. Hmm. Hmm. something for us to eat. <sighs> your mother taught me how to make your favorite stew. Would... would you like to try some? Oh, wonderful. You have no idea how happy you'll be making me. Here you go.
So, did you like it? <gasps> oh, really? Oh, I'm ever so relieved. I shall keep practicing so that it's even more delicious the next time you taste it. I want ever so much to become better at cooking. After all, it wouldn't do for me to make you cringe with dread every time it was my turn, would it? Gosh, it would be time to go home soon. The moments really do fly by when I'm talking to you. I feel so lucky whenever we have a moment alone together, but then it's always over so fast. <gasps> 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 I shall always treasure the times we've spent adventuring together. Always. Thank you so much for choosing to take me with you again. Just as you promised you would. Yeah? But just listen to me, talking absolute nonsense. Ignore me, honestly. Hmm. to know is that as long as I can be by your side, I'll be the happiest woman in the world. <sighs> now that's what I call a view. Almost don't hate you for dragging me all the way up here. Hey, you are glad you picked me, aren't you? <laughs> of course you are. I don't even know why I had to ask. <sighs> I must say, it's nice to be somewhere free of monsters for once. It's actually a great spot for a snooze. Well, fancy a little rest? Our adventure isn't over just yet, and you probably won't get another chance like this for a while. Come on you, nap time! I said nap time. Hurry up and lie down. Mm -mm. You may be the luminary, but that doesn't mean you can keep burning the candle at both ends forever. And now you've got me to look after you, you can afford to take it easy once in a while. You have to do what I say anyway. I'm the oldest. Hmm. There might be the odd time when I need your help too, of course. Not that I'm saying you haven't helped me out plenty of times already. Thank you. I mean it. <laughs> Well, don't you feel a million times better for a rest? Don't worry, you can thank me later. We've got the rest of our lives ahead of us after all. The amazing Veronica will be with you to the end. Hmm. <laughs> now let's get out there and save the world! Whoa, check it out. I see what you mean about the view from up here. Is it just me, 
Or is this place a lot like that cliff we jumped off back in Heliodor? Man, so much has happened since then. <laughs> Who would have thought the kid in the next cell would wind up becoming my best friend? Hey, here's a crazy idea. Why don't we see if we're still the luckiest guys in the business, huh? I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Whoa. That was a little too close for comfort. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, there's never a dull moment with me around, huh? Hey. So there's something I'm going to need your help with once we're done saving the world. We haven't found even half the treasure that's out there yet. I say we hunt it all down, split the take, and retire rich men. Deal? never get tired of this view. And we were so lucky with the weather. <laughs> it feels like a lifetime ago that we came up here for the ceremony, doesn't it? So much has happened since you set out on your adventures. But you're back with me now, that's the main thing. <laughs> a lot happened at our wedding too, didn't it? Oh, what a day. The whole village was there cheering us on. Your poor mum was crying her eyes out. Sandy was running round like a mad thing. <laughs> oh, and don't get me started on your granddad and the cake. <laughs> Speaking of which, how nervous were we both when we had to cut it? I felt like my hands were made of jelly. <sighs> Would you do me a favour? Would you say your vows again? Huh? It was so romantic. You're usually so quiet, but there you were all of a sudden, bearing your soul like that. I couldn't believe it. Go on, say you will. For me? <laughs> Don't tell me you're embarrassed. All right, I'll start you off. Here comes my best priest impression. <clears throat> Do you take Gemma to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you love her as long as you both shall live? <sighs> oh, thank you so much. You have such a wonderful way with words. I promise to love you too, of course. Huh. 
Even while you're far away, on adventures I couldn't even dream of. <sighs> I'll always be here, you know. And when you've finally finished saving the world, I'll be right here waiting. Waiting for you to come home at last. <laughs> <laughs>